Hey guys, Navjot here. Welcome to ED Technology, inspiring learning through technology and education. In this series of lectures, we'll be discussing different concepts related to software engineering. And in today's lecture, we are talking about one of the most important topics, that is Kokomo model. Kokomo stands for Constructive Cost Estimation Model, and it's a very important topic in terms of estimating projects' time, effort, and cost. It has been proposed by Dr. Boehm, who has been very much considered as in the father of software engineering. And this model has played a wonderful role in estimation of different uh, effort costs during the projects and has been used by computer engineers, IT engineers, as well as project managers across the world. So let us see what Kokomo model is. So basically Kokomo stands for Constructive Cost Estimation Model. And uh, this, as I said, has been proposed by Barry Boehm. And this classifies uh, the project into three categories, organic, semi-detached, and embedded. Before this, also, there were a lot of models such as uh, LOC-based model, function point metric, which were used in order to find out the estimation of the effort as well as cost required to complete the project. But this is considered as one of the most complete model. Kokomo also has a lot of variants and a lot of complexity in terms of finding out the amount of effort required to complete the cost estimation and the project estimation. This model helps the estimation of the effort required to build the software, which indirect, indirectly also gives you idea about the number of staff required and what would be the cost. Throughout this video, we'll be discussing the basic Kokomo model. As I said, Kokomo has three variants. One is basic, then the intermediate and a complete Kokomo model. But right now in this video, we'll be only discussing the basic Kokomo model. For further videos, just watch out our channel, ED Technology. So as I said, the Kokomo project uh, is you know classified into three different types. First is organic projects, wherein you need a good experience of team, which is uh, you know relatively uh, fresher plus experience. The size of the team is specified to be very small and the complexity of the project is normally considered to be less. In general, we can say that it's a small, simpler projects with the team have already worked on. Then the second category which comes into Kokomo types is semi-detached, wherein the team needs to have an experienced uh, guy as well as the newbie. The size is considered to be small and medium, comparatively we would say larger than the organic. And complexity is somewhat, you know, more than the organic project, but not as much as the high complexity level. And the third level, which is embedded level, wherein we need an experienced team, uh, you can say the core team. Also, it has to be in very large numbers. And normally, this kind of projects have a very high complexity. Now, as I said, uh, Kokomo is uh, used in the companies or by project managers. In the estimation of time effort as well as you know the number of people required because if you know that if we're talking about a software industry or if we talk about the projects to be handled wherein we use such models so the company does not work on a single project or it does not work on one type of projects so in those scenarios we need to balance that staff as well as team in order to come up with the proper estimation so kokomo model takes into account the different types of projects as well as the size of the team and the complexity while we are coming up with this kind of calculation. In order to perform the calculation with the basic Kokomo, there are certain constants required. So when we say the type of project, so this constants help you define your particular type of project and overall effort calculation is done keeping that in mind. So for now, as I said, this is a very introductory video on Kokomo model. I would suggest you keep up with the values or while you are performing the sums, you just use the values which are normally provided while uh, doing this or you can go online and find this. So there are three different types of projects as you can see in here, organic, semi-detached, embedded and four different constants which are A, B, C and D which values uh, are given here which varies according to the type of the project. And here are the formulas which define how to calculate uh, effort, duration and staffing using the basic Kokomo. So as you can see, these are the basic uh, formulas consisting of the values which are defined here from the constants as well as LOC is one term which is 
mention in here loc is lines of code which is indirect measure of amount of effort required to code a particular project so loc is something which includes the basic lines of code which you are done or in case you are working with dotnet or uh, java then you would have certain headers and footers plus maybe you would have created a database so num amount of procedures lines of codes and queries fired in together form the basic loc this uh, you know calculation also comes through experience as i said this is a part of calculation which is performed by project managers so normally this is known to them or at least have a rough idea how to come up with a calculation for loc also in further videos we'll show you how to calculate locs for the projects which are unknown to you so in here right now you will be given a loc value which is in kilo so basically kilo lines of code and then you insert that value and calculate effort staffing and duration here is a example wherein i have taken 200 kdsi or 200 kd kloc which is 200 kilo lines of code based on that and considering that this is an organic project which is a simple project so i have come up with a calculation as you can see in here you get effort which is calculated here based on this formula then we have this uh, duration which is uh, given in months and staffing number of people required for completing this project in the given time so this is how you come up with the basic calculation of kokomo model also for this we have a simulator which we have created on our website edtechnology.in you can go online using the formulas you can calculate and the simulator will help you verify the answers which you have done so now let us see how to calculate uh, or maybe verify your answers using the same okay as you can see that we are here on edtechnology.in the website wherein you can get all the resources which we share in our uh, video lectures so here you get a simulator where you can verify your uh, kokomo calculations so as you can see in the video we discussed with 200 kloc so when i press calculate you can get values of different types of project considering that if 200 lines of code has organic so uh, you would need this much of effort duration and staffing if it is semi detached the values vary and so on so you can always check this calculation and verify using the video uh, for more queries you can always visit our uh, website or maybe comment in the comment section thank you for watching video i'm sure you had a wonderful experience do subscribe our channel because this takes a lot of effort and this is for the students and people who want to learn so we'll request you to provide an appropriate feedback thank you so much uh, have a good day